Saudi Arabia's new Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman visits in London on March 7, 2018 and he will meet with Prime Minister Theresa May, government officials, and the royal family. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is just 32 years old. He is Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince, not its head of state, and he has only been in his post for nine months. During his visits he take lunch with the Queen at Buckingham Palace, and dinner with the Prince of Wales and Duke of Cambridge at Clarence House. There will be meetings with the Prime Minister at Chequers and Downing Street. And garland upon rhetorical garland of praise will be placed at his feet. Saudi Arabia and the United Kingdom committed to a long-term partnership to support Vision 2030 covering a wide range of fields as Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, Deputy Premier and Minister of Defence, concluded a three-day historic visit to Britain. Crown Prince Mohammed sent separate cables of thanks to Queen Elizabeth and Prime Minister Theresa May. Britain and Saudi Arabia signed commercial deals worth more than $2 billion during Crown Prince Mohammed's visit to London. At the start of the trip, the countries set themselves a £65 billion, pounds, $90 billion, trade and investment target for the coming years, with London looking for new post-Brexit markets for its services sector. The two countries also signed a letter of intent to finalize talks on a multi-billion pound order for 48 Typhoon aircraft made by B Systems. Saudi Arabia and the United Kingdom taken a vital step towards finalizing another order for Typhoon jets that will increase security in the Middle East and boost British industry and jobs in their unrivaled aerospace sector. Priority areas of cooperation include education, training and skills, financial and investment services, culture and entertainment, healthcare services and life sciences, technology and renewable energy, and the defense industry. Taken together these opportunities are expected to amount up to $100 billion over a 10-year period, from which by the Public Investment Fund, PIF, will aim to target direct investments amounting to $30 bn. The two sides pledged £100 million of joint funding to support livelihoods and economic prosperity in the Horn of Africa and East Africa. The two countries stressed the importance of Iran's adherence to the principles of good neighboring behaviors, and not interfering in the internal affairs of countries in accordance with international norms and the United Nations Charter. The two countries confirmed the importance of reaching a political solution to the crisis in Yemen on the basis of the Gulf Cooperation Council initiative and its implementation mechanism, the outcome of the Yemen National Dialogue and UN Security Council Resolution 2216. The United Kingdom welcomed Saudi Arabia's recent establishment of an office for Yemen reconstruction in Riyadh to develop reconstruction plans to be implemented following a political settlement. The United Kingdom sees this as an important expression of Saudi Arabia's commitment to the long-term development of all of Yemen. For more and new updates please subscribe my channel and please share your comment.